China is a big country and not everybody despise That's Some African. actually understand my country, where it is, and they actually know the friendship between my country and China. Hello guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Simply Rhoda and this is my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining my channel today. If it's your first time on this channel, honey, this is a call please subscribe to my channel and if you are returning so a bit thank you honey for always coming back to my videos to watch my videos i want to say thank you a big big thank you and you see my surrounding y'all i'm in the mountains it's so peaceful here and i love coming to this place especially this rice board i love coming here because i want to connect with nature and you know just have a quiet time the vacation is over now schools are opening tomorrow officially today i came downtown to do some shopping for my son school supplies and you know unfortunately i didn't know that they had to start school today they had to go to school to clean up and get ready for tomorrow yes that week tomorrow is going to be a long week for them i mean this first week is going to be a long week because they're going to school for like six days it's a normal thing in china we often work even six or seven days sometimes to make up for the holidays or to make up for you know lost days if there was something that happened we usually do this makeup so it's kind of like we are used to this kind of but fortunately i work in a kindergarten so our kindergarten hasn't been on vacation we were still going to school even when it was summer vacation we were still going so to school, i don't need so. to go to work tomorrow so tomorrow i'm gonna be having my free day without tyler in the house just chill out cleaning because, because yeah the boy has been having fun at home he has been so chilled and relaxed so the house i guess is feels a bit of a mess so tomorrow I will be spending my day cleaning up and stuff so today I want to be sharing some of the experience I had guys people love to come here and now I'm seeing a very big car coming up here okay a lot of people love to come to this place like I say it's my sanctuary I come and park there and I know a lot of people were hoping to come and park there as well but I've already parked there I don't know if they are parking or they are going I have no idea I hope they just go because I want to make so my now I wanted to share something about uh, the people, I mean the local people. So last time, and I know it has been happening these days, I'm not sure why it's been happening, but it's, I've been meeting a lot of people, kind people especially. This is another sign that you may never heard about the Chinese people, but I'm really, really grateful. So something amazing happened last week while I was parked. Um, on the roadside like i was so busy during this summer vacation right i was working during my lunch breaks uh, after work uh, during the, the time so i hardly had time to rest so sometimes i'll record my videos while it's on my way to school or from one place to another so i had a short time to just stop because i wanted to just you know just stop there was a shade somewhere and i had a few minutes to spare so i decided to just stop so while i was there a lady approached me she just approached me from nowhere. You know, these are, these are like, she's a, later I found out that she's a street cleaner and she was just passing by. So I'd opened my windows because there was a cool breeze. And I also love to go to that spot, uh, mainly because I can see bullet trains coming and going. And this is such as, a good sight for me i love to watch frequency they go you know so it was just something that i was i had 10 minutes to to, to spend honestly and i just decided to open my window and then i can enjoy the breeze the cool breeze and also the sound of the bullet trains coming and going so while i was doing so this lady just passed by my window so when she saw me she was eating corn and when she saw me she immediately came to the window and she was trying to offer me like to show me that she can share with me whatever she was eating right and i was like oh no it's okay no problem it's okay i'm okay and she laughed so i thought we had settled it so she went like a hundred meters and then she came back now this time she was holding a, a bag of tomatoes and uh she knocked on my window because i'd closed my window then um and she knocked on my window and i opened i rolled down the window and she was like okay she was holding a bag of tomatoes and a few in a palm and then she was like oh these are for you i'm giving you these tomatoes and uh, i've already removed 
the ones that are broken that are not in good shape so i want to give you this you can eat them so what came to my mind at that time i was like oh do am i looking like somebody who's hungry or why she decided to just offer me her lunch because i know she's doing a hard work she's cleaned the street all day she's outside in the sun and she probably needed the tomatoes more than i do at that time so i was like why am i looking like somebody who is hungry but then it rang in my mind that chinese people are really selfless when it comes to that they can offer you whatever they have you know not because they feel like you're hungry or something they can just feel like sharing so for me she kept on pushing of course i refused i said no it's okay i'm okay i don't need honestly i didn't need any because i wasn't hungry at all so she insisted that she wanted to give me those tomatoes so i i just took them and thanked her but then it dawned on me like when sometimes i hear people talking about this and that this and that about chinese and i realized that not only that day but recently i've been having a very good um conversations with Chinese people, with strangers. Okay. Okay. I, I've been meeting, like wherever I go, I meet a lot of them and they just approach me. Chinese, they really become very, very close or they want to be close to me. They want to have a good conversation with me. And it has been happening a lot these days. Some of these incidents that my camera will be rolling so I can catch them. But some of them, maybe I don't have a camera with me so I don't catch these good conversations. But all I can say is I really feel welcome and I really feel comfortable being here and also talking to them and they want to know what I realized is they are they are curious not in a in a way to like look down on you or something I know this had happened or there are cases that are still happening that people may say nasty things or that are not pleasant to hear but what the people are meeting recently they are all curious and happy and I also find out that some even know about my country they even know the geographical location of my country and they are also they also have a lot of good things to say and the last like i'll be sharing another conversation i had you can listen this man what i do is i try not to film people's faces but i can film their voices while the camera is directed to me and um, i feel like it's not nice to film them when they are trying to just be nice to me and talk to me like those who happen to find me rolling or recording or my camera is ready i record myself and then you know they can just be talking we can have a conversation so they are not part of the video like you don't see their images in my video but all i can say is they've been saying nicer things about me and i feel good i think i have never felt this good in a long time when it comes to having conversation with strangers also knowing that some actually understand my country where it is and they actually know the friendship between my country and china is something that actually making me feel really grateful about him being here and also feel happy to have these conversations with these people outside so yeah i want to say sometimes before we judge we must just look deep into people and it's not everybody who has bad intentions when they approach you some of them are really curious and their curiosity is for the good cause they want to learn about you they don't want to just take whatever they hear from us they want to know the actual real deal from you so if you give them an ear or if you actually have this or hold this conversation you are you get to know more about country you get to know more about people and their cultures because what i know for real is china is a big country and not everybody despise africa not everybody look down upon other people and i'm sure those who actually come closer to you they are there for the right cause they want to know so for the little part that you can have you can educate here what i've learned if somebody comes closer to you in most cases they are coming closer to have a right connection with you so if you give them the chance you may find that the conversation we have you really feel fulfilled you really feel calm and you really feel happy after having such conversations with people so yeah guys i am here and you may ask oh the sun is shining well there is a new trend in china actually like um, young people or not only young people because you know it has been so hot in the past days and people have been spending a lot of time in the conditioned rooms 
things. So we believe that the cold is trapped within your body. And nowadays you find most people go to the parks, just sit under the sun, you know, and sweat and just try to sweat it out. It doesn't matter. They are scared of having a skin tan and stuff, but it's like a trend nowadays. Parks are filled with young people or even older people trying to get a, do a sand bath, you know, to trap out, like to release the cold that has been trapped within or their bodies or whatever. I don't know what I'm saying. It's English. <laughs> so, yeah, I've been doing it as well. I did it yesterday and I'm doing it today. It's actually, I actually feel good. I actually feel better because in the past few days, I haven't been feeling too well because of, I think, the cause I was easily catching cold or having stomach cramps and stuff like that. But yesterday when I did the sun bath outside, I actually slept well for the first time in months. I actually feel better and feel good. So I can recommend, yeah, I can recommend. Yeah, I'm outside, I'm recording. I take the opportunity to actually do this sun bath while I'm recording the videos for you and information on more news about China, more good things with you. Yeah, thank you if you have watched it to this right end. I want to say thank you for staying to this end. If you have any other questions you want to know and anything you want to make, a video request you want me to do, I'm here to save you and I just uh, put it in the comment section and I will answer your questions if there is need for me to actually address it in a video I'll do it so I'll see you in the next video y'all continue to subscribe and like the videos share them and I'll see you in the next video it's goodbye